Channel of Tech TV NetCam Network from Adrian, Missouri. Hey, Danny. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Yeah. How you doing? Not too bad. How can we help you? Well, I uh, just installed Mandrake Linux recently. I'm trying to get into Linux a little bit, and uh, I'm looking for some information on how to install programs. I've done RPMs, but I know there's some other ways, too. Oh, that's too bad. Let's take another call. <laughs> <laughs> we can help you. Just kidding, Danny. Package management. Yes. Why do you need package management? What is package well, management? Well, I mean, you do and you don't need it. I mean, right. package management makes things a lot easier. Packages are basically collections of mm -hmm. programs that are put together, and they're easy to install in Linux. An RPM is an example right. of a type of package. Uh, to install it is very easy. So let's say you like uh, an instant messaging client that you want to install in Linux. Bob's instant messaging. Yeah, Bob's instant messaging. In Windows, you double click a setup file, it runs you through a nice little pretty GUI, and it installs. It, yeah, and like, yeah it, 40 files in 40 different places. Right, you, you really think about it. You reboot three or four times, and you're ready to go. Now, in Linux, it's a little different. Uh, with RPMs, you just go to the right. command prompt. There's actually some graphical ways to do this as well, but mm -hmm. the most common that a lot of people like to do, the geeks, right. they go to the command prompt, and they type in RPM space dash I, which means install, space, the name of the RPM. Right. It then writes all the files to the disk where it thinks they should go, installs it, and it's ready to run. Mm -hmm. No rebooting most times. We most 99.999% like of times you don't have to reboot. Because Unix is wonderful. Yes, it is. Unix architecture. Now, there's all different types of packages. There's Debian packages. There's, uh, you know, there's so many different types of package file right. formats out there. Now, also, uh, if you've already tried the RPM, have you tried compiling any programs, Danny? Yeah, I've tried that. I've had a little bit of success. Mm -hmm. It's a little more complicated. It is a little more complicated. Uh, it can be really funky at where it writes the files and what right. type of dependencies it's looking for and things of that it's nature. It's basically like taking the raw information from an application, churning it through a thing that converts it into something that your right. operating system can actually understand. Right, because you get all the source code, and right. then actually compiling makes it inexecutable. And it's several commands. Normally, it's a, a dot slash configure to configure it, a make, and then a make install. Um, it's it's kind of complicated. You mm -hmm. see a, a bunch of text scroll across the screen. It gets pretty yeah. hairy. But I have to tell you, uh, my recommendation to you, Danny, or any of the first-time Linux users or beginner novice Linux users is to try a distribution called Debian. Mm -hmm. Debian is really cool because it does the dependency checking for you, meaning if there's right. something that it can't find, it'll go out and grab it for you and install it for you automatically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you it's, don't need to spend $100 a year for Lindos downloads. Right. Well, Lindos is based from off of Debian. Right, and it's yeah. basically just, you know, apt-get Debian, and exactly. it makes it as simple as possible. But, Danny, you, you sound like you're figuring out most of the yeah. big stuff already. I mean, th you are on the path. This is the way to do it. It's going to break. Linux programs yeah. break on me all the time when I'm trying installing them. You search the message boards, you figure out workarounds, mm -hmm. the dependencies that need to be installed, and then you'll get the hang of it. And pretty soon, it it's going to become uh, like, you know, second hand knowledge, old hat, and you'll be able to do it easy. So. Good luck, Danny. Thanks for the call. Danny, nice to see you're checking out Linux now. It's time to check in with Sarah, another Linux user with a helpful tip. Yeah, right.